Hello and welcome to the Temple of Tomes with your host, Indie Comics Jones. Today is November 14th, 2020, and this is episode 128. Today we're going to take a look at the land that time forgot, Fearless, an arc based on the Edgar Rice Burroughs universe. The book was, the original book being The Land That Time Forgot. This is an American Mythology production, and this is episode, I shouldn't say episode, but issue one at $3.99. And this is the main cover. As you can see, we've got a nice little action-packed cover in here. And while uh, this scene does, this action does occur, this isn't exactly the same scene in the book, but it does actually occur. Um, nice composition here. You can see the real danger as our hero Bowen and our heroine Liz are being attacked by a giant spider. So let's get right into it real quick. The writer on this is Mike Wolfer. You might know him from other American myth mythology uh, productions as well. I'm reading and reviewing another one he did called uh, The Monster Men. That's been very good. Uh, I've read the first three issues of that, 012, and I'm waiting for issue three to get out. So I'm looking that's good, been a great exciting story. The art on this is Fritz Cassis and I must say the art in here is really really nice. Uh, looks like it's hand drawn um, and it's kind of got like an well, I want to say like an old timey feel but the comic itself is quite an adventure and I am going to give this a recommend so if you got short on time this is what I'm telling you. This is a recommend. The first three pages are spent with some beautiful scenes as we see Bowen and Liz walking through the different uh, jungle. This is like a continent that has been discovered down by Antarctica, somewhere out in the South Pacific, and it's unknown to them. And I believe it's supposed to be right around World War I, so early 19th century, uh, early 20th century, actually, I guess it would be around 1910 to 1920, somewhere in there. And um, there's a group of guys and girls, I, I'm guessing there were some other girls besides Liz, that were stranded on this island after their boat crashed into it. Um, and that is the ba basis of the land that time forgot. I want to pick that up because I believe Mike Wolfer wrote that as well, or wrote the adaptation of it for the comics. Um, so I'm going to try to see if I can pick that up, at least in floppy, maybe maybe trade if that's available. But the first three pages are kind of a narrative by Bowen talking about um, the last uh, issue, how they were at Fort Dinosaur and uh, they got separated from their group. So these two are just out walking them themselves. They've spent many weeks walking together and they eventually fell in love and got married under the stars by themselves because there's just those two. Well, as he ends his narration here, they get picked up by a, a uh, giant, a pack of giant hyenas. And so they make a break for it into the woods and some really nice drawing here, you know, as they're cutting through the savanna there, trying to get away. And uh, you can see these hyenas are closing on them. Um, Bowen turns around every once in a while to take a shot at them. They keep moving. They see there's a cliff here and they see vines. And so they go ahead and their idea is to jump on the vines and the hyenas won't catch them. The meanwhile, Bowen continues to shoot at the hyenas and uh, they jump across. Um, just one last hyena just missing them, jumping into the, the depths below. <laughs> The cliff doesn't quite make it. Um, but right again, we're right into another predicament here is they, they feel, hey, these vines are kind of sticky. And it turns out it's a big nest for this spider that comes down. Um, but uh, Liz is able to shoot shoot the uh, spider as, as um, Bowen is able to free himself using a dagger here. And they make their way across... And they talk about walking for many days, just, you know, they're glad that they have each other. And um, they come into this water area, and things have been going pretty good. They haven't seen anything dangerous, but Liz slips. Turns out it's no big deal. She's only 
way steep. However, they suddenly get attacked by one of the primates that lives on the island as well. So uh, this is the Elas, and these are very much beast-like. Um, as you can see, they've grabbed Liz, and uh, Bowen is actually captured and taken off. So Liz has to fight for herself. She's able to kick him in the, the privates and free herself, and then plant a dagger in his heart. Um, and floats off. She's able to get his spear then, or maybe that was the spear she had before. And she makes her way looking for Bowen, and she comes across Kotan, who is one of the characters from uh, um, Edgar Rice Burroughs' universe. And she is being attacked by the ALS over here. The rest of her tribe has been wiped out, so it's just her left. And she's taking on this very large ALS woman. And uh, Liz comes in for the charge, takes out one of the one of the um, attackers, and then throws her spear over to Kotan after Kotan gouges out one of the eyes. I mean, there's just a lot of action here. It's just great. It just keeps going. Uh, love it. Um, and uh, it appears Kotan is topless, <laughs> just, which is all right by me. At least one side, uh, she's wearing some kind of, I don't know what you call that, uh, half half bra, I don't know, but her, her long um, animal hairs actually cover up her other breasts for the most part. But uh, so we have two stunning women together. This is just a fantastically fine comic. We move on and they make friends and they decide to go off together to look for Bowen and uh, they follow her the footsteps now into a swamp area. And they come across some baby dinosaurs. The dinosaurs are, I guess, are all over this island. Or this small, it's, uh, I guess it's supposed to be like a hidden continent. And uh, a dinosaur pops up. And suddenly, out of the swamp, is riding this another, I guess she's like a priestess. I don't know if she's part of uh, Kotan's tribe or not, but... Um, she is the daughter of Lu Eta, who Kotan does know. So we, it's probably going to be some kind of um, alliance made here, I'm guessing, as we move into the next issue. But this is a recommend. And real quick, we'll go through some of the other stuff. Here's Zoro in the land that time forgot. I don't know anything about this. It's a crossover. Um, I don't know who wrote it. It doesn't really say who's writing this one. And, and the but they give us a little preview of that. And this doesn't really look that appealing to me. But you can see there's the galleon heading for the Lost Island or Lost Continent. And uh, issue one is supposed to be on sale right now. So if that looks good to you, go for it. Um, I will not be picking this one up because there's a few others that I do want to get. Um, neither one of these. These were like Halloween treats. I think I got this book like two or three weeks ago. Moon Maiden. I might check this out if I see it there. Uh, it is a Mike Wolfer as well. We have uh, Pel Kidar. Um, I'm not sure who wrote this one. But there seems to be a number of issues of this as well. As well as crossovers for the land that time forgot. So, And the Monster Man, which we are reviewing... This I do want to read. I, there was a, a preview in one of the, uh, I believe it was a Monster Man, and it looked really good. So this is Zoro versus El Hijo, Hijo del Muerte, if I said that right. Zoro, the Galleon of the Dead. And that is a Mike Wolfer. I haven't seen it at the store, but I'm going to ask them to order it for me. And that's pretty much it. As you can see, here's just some more... American Mythology books, and Zoro. Another last plug for Zoro in the land that time forgot. So, all in all, I recommend the land that time forgot. Fearless is the Ark, and I really thank you for stopping by the Temple of Tomes. This is Indie Comics Jones. Thank you for subscribing. I know I got a few sub subscriptions this week, so thank you on that. Um, got a lot of likes. Uh, not too many comments, but if you want to comment, please do. And if you got a dislike, please tell me why, because I only want to get better at this. So once again, this is Indie Comics.
Jones bidding you adieu. Take care.